Okay, welcome people, viewers, back home. We're gonna watch Robbie Capito from Hong Kong play against Sanjin Pelivanovic from Bosnia Herzegovina. Race to 11 in the final of the World Pupils Championship. The race to nine it is. And it's a very strong leg right there, won by Pelivanovic. I'm Alex Lely, next to me is Andre Serastan. Hello. Welcome. Who will be refereeing the uh, the final of the girls, the the match that will be played after this? Your first big match to referee, right, Andre? <coughs> yeah, the second. First was yesterday, the semi final. Nice. So Capito, he has proven strong in this tournament by beating Zelinski in the preliminaries. He, he won that match seven six. And uh, yesterday in the semi-final against Alnar from Northern Cyprus, he was down 6-2 and he ended up winning that match. Pelivanovic mostly in this tournament has been a good front runner. Played a very strong match against Zielinski yesterday in the semi-finals. So we will see how this works out. I think anything can happen. Well, I know more about Sa Sanyin because he's playing in Europe. I see him playing on Euro Tours and all other big tournaments. And I never see uh, Robert uh, to play, Robbie to to play on on this tournament. And he showed like a really strong player. Yeah, a lot of resilience. Mentally very strong. And Sanjin, Sanjin in the past year has really shown a lot of improvement. He has already been for years a uh, big talent, but now his game has become very uh, mature. He got to the quarterfinals in the recently played Euro Tour in Klagenfurt, Austria. And had a chance to be in the semi final. It was a tough match. Who did um, he play against? Um, I, I don't remember actually. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but I saw that match. I don't know why I for forget about, uh, that guy, but I remember he played solid, mm -hmm. and he started f from the losers wo round one. He lost in the beginning and went f through the whole loser side. It's also Strong. Yeah. yeah. So a good leave here by Pelivanovic. Easy to hit the three ball here, but the task is to control the outcome. Good hit. A good thickness on the three, but over hit it. Those type of kick shots very difficult to judge the deflection of the cue ball after the rail. Because the table here, the TV table, so much quicker, slides so much more than what you're used to play on back home or even on the practice tables. Yes, this table wasn't used a lot during the tournament. So the cloth almost brand new. And the balls are uh, really clean so the contact may be bad sometimes. Yeah, or w what even happened here, uh, because it's also new and slick, he played that shot on the three ball with inside squirted the cue ball, deflected the cue ball a little too much, hit it thin, the three, so the cue ball was quick in the end. There we see Christina Tekac. She's very laid back, I've noticed. I mean, after this she'll be playing her world, world final. So, what has he played for here? For a combo? Six, seven, very tough. Yeah, but I don't see the safety here. Behind the nine, but where will be six? Nice, look at that. Good start. Good start. He hasn't done a lot wrong. 
he lost a leg and he misplayed that shot on the three ball. My guy, Jan van Lierop from the Netherlands, he lost yesterday in the semi-finals in the juniors division and we, we, we spoke and I mentioned how big experience is as a factor in this stage of the tournament and I think that's what Sanjin is showing. Travels a lot, plays all over Europe, he's now starting to travel globally. He's going to be playing Bundesliga for Dachau, one of the top teams in Germany. Very committed and very much already the life of a full-time playing pro. So here, here comes the first track. Uh, it was really nicely played by Sanjin. The combo was really good. So he showed that he he gonna try his best to win this final. So you've seen, I mean, you've been in the arena a lot, Andre, as a referee. You're working mm -hmm. very hard here. I mean, you're making a big contribution to the tournament. Thanks for that. But being in the arena, do you register? Do you observe as a player, or do you not have the focus for that? What I mean, what I'm interested in, if you have learned what the, what the best break has been in this tournament. Because uh, with the one on the spot, there are people who just try to hit the first ball head on, smack him, make three balls and then play six balls. Others will focus more on controlling the one ball, getting a good shape. Well, when I was refereeing in the zone, I have to watch players' falls and uh, how they play in uh, hard situations. And it was hard to notice them, uh, how they run the tables or some really tough shots. But the quality of the tournament was good and uh, I saw a lot of runouts. But I think it's also because they moved the one ball to the spot. Mm -hmm. The break becomes really easy because everyone knows how to break it. It's uh, the new, I mean, the, the new old rule from the WPA. We have been playing for a while with the nine on the spot. But recently the decision was made to go back to the old rule of uh, wrecking the one ball on the spot makes it easier to sink balls. Capito, meanwhile, has lost position on the three ball. Went for a bank. Wow. Nice. Good recovery shot. Still has to come with one. Not super difficult. Yeah, two rail. But Maybe three, even. But his uh, missed position on the three tells us that possibly his back arm is uh, suffering too much adrenaline. So mm -hmm. let's see how he hits this shot. Under hit it. Good enough. Yeah, he can still hit the seven to make a position for the next shot. Bump into it. Fifteen years of age, Capito. Ooh. Oh. Very quick there to pull mm. the trigger. Big miss. Yeah, it wasn't hurt shot. And the uh, decision I think the decision was wrong. Yeah. He put inside English, he wanted to play from the eight back to the center of the table. Yeah, it it looked to uh, to us it looked more like the shot to bump into the seven was on. Yeah. So a tester here for Sanjin. Can he capitalize on that missed ball by Capito? 
backcut. Yeah, and he need to control the cue ball and avoid the scratch. Yeah. Well, a couple of first tracks are always nervous. Well, for Capito, definitely, yeah. But like Pelevanovic yesterday against Zielinski, he started good and he didn't look back. He didn't wait for Zil Zielinski and that shows a lot of uh, 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 heart and commitment. Yeah, he, he ran a lot that match. Yeah. I think more than half of his breaks. He didn't at one moment, he never looked reluctant, Pelevanovic, hesitant very focused nice shot not good control but I like I mean he took a lot of time to prepare the shot and at least he didn't miss it yeah and it was a good idea to <coughs> to try to avoid the nine and go back with the free rail shot come around yeah well this shot uh, seems to be easier than the previous one. Do you roll or do you draw? Well, I, I'll draw. Yeah, he's drawing too to the long rail. I think when you're a bit nervous, it's easier to play a bump shot instead yeah. of rolling. A little more authority in the stroke. But it was really nice. Yeah, good stroke, and but but the shot on the five ball, especially, he took a lot of time there, mm -hmm. and that immediately shows us the difference between Capito and Pelivanovic in terms of experience. Capito played that five ball to the side a little quick, misjudged it, and Pelivanovic capitalizes. Two zero. Banana. I know they call his father Banana. Is, is he also being called Banana? Do you know that? Sunny? Yeah? No, never heard about that. Oh. oh they, 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 his father, they call him uh, Banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's a son of Banana? Yeah, I think I think in Klagerfurt I heard it when he was winning a match. Someone said, uh, come on Banana, something like that. Nice nickname. Yeah, because I think his father has made, uh, uh, had a business or has a business in fruit. Mm -hmm. So that's how it uh, came about, I think. Yeah, it's something special, the nickname like this, Banana, Yeah. in pool world. The best nickname for me is uh, Wojtek Szewczyk from Poland, who is called Master Chef. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, the way he plays, it really... Uh, determines his uh, his way of playing his uh, nickname. Yeah, yeah, delicate. Yeah, he put a lot of time to to prepare the shot, but he's doing so good. So Sanjin to break. Perfect, perfect, look at this. Cut break. Cutting, cutting, and then the trick is you need to give enough speed to the one ball. Because I've seen players this tournament who, who cut the break like this, making the corner ball, but they didn't give enough speed to the one. It also should be enough speed for a cue ball to stay in the center, because if the, they will put not enough, it will go forward to the rack. Yeah. But this type of break is uh, is common when you're playing nine ball on the spot, cutting the nine to the center. But here he cuts nine before the center. Yeah, the the one you mean. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's the one. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a l positional error I wanted to say, but it's not because he does see the two. Interesting choice. I. I would have liked to be a little closer to the two ball. I think I would have opted for three rails. Mm -hmm. Well, he don't want to take a risk. Yeah, good point. He has young eyes. 
doesn't fear distance. Oh, that's a good stroke. This is the stroke of a man who has his eyes set on the trophy. He's making a very strong start. Hong Kong supporters. Yeah. Well, after this stroke, maybe they think that it will be really hard to beat. Well, in a race tonight, you can overcome 3 0 down, but. You know, Sanjin is playing very good. Yeah, when you take an uh, early lead, the only thing you need is just to run your X. Straight in on the 4. Mm, a tiny angle, I think he can force follow, long rail, short rail, go towards the 8. He need to avoid the slide of the rail, not to scratch. So he he's addressing the cue ball low, so he's going back. Mm -hmm. I think all the way back to the short rail. Well, it was enough angle. Wow. How you like this? Oh well, man, if he can keep this up. It's yeah. nice to win a final, but yeah. winning yeah, a winning yeah. a final with this game it'd, yeah. be, it'd be awesome. And it's only uh, uh, in and it's under seventeen final. So, the guys are not uh, not that experienced as the finalist of the next fi uh, on the under nineteen final. Yeah. We have uh, Federgorst. Yes. Representing Russia and. Uh, Temujin mm -hmm. from. Um, Mongolia. Mongolia. Yeah. yeah. Who beat Jan van Lierop from uh, the Netherlands? Yeah. He played a good match. He played solid. And the match between Gorst and uh, Patrick Hoffman from uh, Germany was a tight one, was 11-8. Uh, a nervy affair, they call it. Mm -hmm. A bumpy ride. It was 8-8 eight eight and uh, Hoffman missed his chance to run the track. Yeah. So this is going to be 3-0. Very nice wreck for Pelivanovic. He had that awesome break, controlling the one. Then that long shot on the two ball that he creamed in, and then that super draw shot from the four to the five. Three zero, very he dominant. Yeah, he have no doubt. So thanks for viewing, for watching, and we'd appreciate if you share the link, get more viewers in. After this, we're gonna have uh, Christina to catch against the Korean girl Li Wu Jin. Li Wu Jin, thank you. And um, oh yeah, you have to know because you're gonna be the referee in that match. And after that, the junior world final uh, Gorst against Temu Jin. Capito's taking a timeout. One timeout per match. Five minutes. Well, Sanyin looks really focused. No hocus pocus, just focus. Here we see the finalist of the under 19, Temujin Engbolt. That's his name, Engbolt. Uh, it's the last name of, and Temujin is the first name. 
Oh, sorry. I thought it was his last name because in the schedule. Yeah, in the schedule, it's. They, uh, they made a mistake. Yeah. So w what's his last name? Uh, Enkbolt. Enkbolt. Yeah, if I'm, uh, if, I, if I'm correct. Okay. Well, he's he has made and is making a good showing here. He could catch Fedorgorst by surprise, perhaps. Three zero. So close and yet so far for Pelivanovic, but Capito, as said before, has had a couple of crunchers this week. A hill hill win over Zielinski. And yesterday in the semi final recovery after being six two down. From Elner. Excuse me, yes, yeah. thank you. Also a cut break by Capito, different style of cut break, a little fuller and harder. The one ball goes over the side pocket, but no luck there. He's going to be playing a push out. Where do you play a push out to, Andre? Well, maybe it's an option to put it near the four, if from that point Sanjin will not see the full of uh, one ball yeah. because then he can make a safety. So he need to put the cue ball just to see the edge of the one on the, uh, the on the same mm -hmm. side where the cue ball is situated now. Very difficult position to play a push out from. Uh huh. Oh, he's playing a push out for a kick. Yeah, for kick ki safety. Kick and stick. <laughs> Good shot, kick and stick. But the seven is a big ball. And the cue ball is close to the rail, so to kick and stick, he needs to dig down on the cue ball, which is a little bit dif difficult with the cue ball being so close. This final, they are playing race to nine. The same with the girls. Mm -hmm. and, uh, under 19, will play a race to 11. Yeah. A difficult shot. Capito gave himself a difficult shot, but what we did see, or what I saw, was that he's he's quick to pull the trigger. It doesn't take a long time over the ball, which tells me he's a rhythm player. Wants to get into the groove, but you know the way Pelivanovic is the way Pelivanovic is playing. You know, he needs to work to even get that chance to get into a groove. The three ball passes the seven. Mm -hmm. So if he doesn't like his angle on the two, he could play a stop shot for the three to the corner. But then he'll have a tricky position for next ball yeah not a real stop shot maybe uh, yeah. a bit know. stunish yeah <laughs> stunish to leave himself an angle but he could draw yeah. smooth draw just to center of the table will be enough yeah but I yeah. think he has too much angle now needs to go to the short rail nine is a big ball So he has come with good recovery shots, twice, but those were long stroke shots. Now he needs to cut it and I think he cannot hold it. I think he needs to go, he, he needs to play double speed. Or do you think he can spin this and hold yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. To spin it and the whole, uh, to hit the rail after the side pocket. Oh, I hate that shot on a new table, on a TV table. But I'm not there. He's supposed to like it. I think he's gonna just cut it with double speed as you told. Yeah, I like this better. Perfect. You can let the arm out. Yeah. 
I think that this is what the girls the, the like the the best the elite in the in the girls division and the elite in the ladies divisions that's what they they're very good at at really really soft stroking the ball mm -hmm. in the men's division the players choose often for double speed hitting with more oomph how is he looking Sanjin well we can we can have a look on the next match for the girls well I thought he oh, uh, undercut a bit yeah he did full but it was okay well this is okay if you're up 3-0 yeah uh, if it's hill hill in the world cup of pool Holland against England it was this shot that was missed by by Niels yeah it was huge and uh, no one uh, no one think that Niels can miss it because Niels, yeah, Niels is a terminator yeah but it's hill hill you're on the clock it's but you know if you're down 3-0 Everything is funny. All angles yeah. are are difficult, and Sanjin is now he he's calm. He's playing great. It's look it looks like he don't play final now. He just play his game, and that's it. Awesome. On the chat, Marty Herman says that Christina can beat the boys and the girls. Well, possibly. Do you ever spar with Christina Tkach? Yeah. And? Um, she won some sets from me. Okay. But she won Russian Cup, men, men Russian Cup. Oh, yeah? Yeah, last year. And who was participating? Everyone? You, Duda, Yeah, Boris? Chinahov, Stepanov. Wow. She beat. I think she she beat uh, in semis Chinahov, wow, and so that in the final Dudanit. So Marty Herman is right. Kristina Tekac playing the final. We have uh, in the all all finals Asia against Europe. So in China it was hard to beat Asian players, but here I think w Europe have more chances. Strong contingent, yeah, for sure. Now, medium hard cut break, the one ball before the side pocket to the long reel. It didn't well uh, went as he planned. But still, he ha uh, have a nice opening shot. Yeah. Luck is the residue of hard work. And it looks like Sanjin is uh, cashing in on a big payday. But when you have too much luck, when you have uh, like randomly potted balls. Mm -hmm. This gonna be a bad thing later. Yeah, yeah it's bad car. Well, yeah. One lucky shot is a warning. Yeah. Maybe two lucky shots you can't get away with. But it also puts some pressure on you when you see that yeah. you're lucky and you you want the Rex by luck only. It it happens sometimes. Yeah. I remember the final of the World Pool Masters, Jason Shaw against uh, David Alkaide, where Shaw was having the luck, mm -hmm. but in the end uh, Alkaide lifted the trophy. A good moment by the way to congratulate I think uh, David Alkaide for being chosen as the fifth member of Team yeah, Europe for the wild card. upcoming Moscone Cup, well deserved. A Euro Tour winner, Kremlin Cup winner, World Pool Masters champion. And number one in the European rankings, how could he not be? Russians Ruslan Chinakhov had a great chance mm -hmm. to be in the team, but he didn't show really st uh, stable game. Yeah. He won World Pool Series 
if Paul Series he won uh, Europeans, he won Euro Tour, but it wasn't enough to be in the squad. Yeah. And and what was the tournament where it went wrong for him? Do you know? Do you I think last Euro Tour. In uh, Klagerfurt. Yeah, yeah he okay. got to and out. Well, you take your medicine and you go on. He'll be back next year. Yeah, for sure. He's playing good. Another run out by Sunny. Yeah. Super. Super play by Pelivanovic. So calm. So committed. The best shot for him, I think, was uh, in b rack two. That, that five. That five ball. That five ball. He took. He, he, he came up from the shot maybe two, three times. And here, our sponsors, main sponsor is Gazprom. They supplied me with free water during this broadcast. Yeah, it's nice. Weekend billiards, they supplied with the uh, tables. Yeah. As dynamic billiard also. Aeronith billiard balls, we're playing with Duramith. And what's that thing top right? It's something Moscow Moskowski? Union of Billiard Sports. All billiard sports. So of billiard sports. Okay, so that's pyramid, snooker. Maybe free, uh, carom. And the one to the left of that, Federacia. It's a uh, Russian billiard also sport federation. It's the same. No, it's a Moscow Union of Billiard Sport and Russian oh, okay, billiard okay. Uh, federation. Okay, well, we're back, rec six. So what do you do now? You're down five zero. Alternate break. Maybe it's time to relax a bit. Yeah. Just enjoy what's going on, and you know, just to to pot the balls, trying to run out and see what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, in a way you're free. That's what I like about making a comeback in pool, you know, where you're dead. A dead man cannot die. Yeah. Nobody expects you to win. And you're opening it. Maybe he, he will relax a bit. Yeah. With the lead. Oh, Sanin is an experienced guy. He won the European Championship. In, yeah. But in still. The, in the final of the World Championships, Darren Appleton was up 11-3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lee Wen, no? Lee, Lee Hei Wen. Oh, Lee Hei Wen, yeah. I've, seen, Wen. I've seen crazy stuff happen. I once was down 9-0 in the semi-final in the Emirates against Andam. Alternate break. Uh, I did it. I've seen it. I've had it done again. So, you know, you, that's the beauty. Oh. That's the beauty. Well, this was a super difficult shot because he had to control three balls. He had to pocket the eight, hold the one ball, and come around with the cue ball for shape on the one. Came close to making it. So now for me it's interesting to see what this 5-0 lead does to Sanjin. Mm -hmm. hey, is he going to get edgy? Because he could feel pressure for being able to win a final 11-2 or something. Yeah, it's a 9, you mean. Sorry. Yeah, no. nine but two. still, yeah, it's nine a huge. 9-0, wow. But now he don't look like he's thinking about things out of table. Yeah, straight in on the three. Checking if a stop shot is what he likes. And I think that's what he should like. He'll play with low right from the four. And he'll come in towards the five ball. With the stun right? Or just a draw? No, he needs to draw a little bit. This is soft medium stroke, I think. Mm -hmm. But it was something between soft draw and stun. Yeah. Nice. 
guys. Very disciplined, not taking anything for granted. A stop shot will give him shape on the 8, but he wants to have perfect shape. It wasn't hard to make it perfect. No. This is the safe option, staying on this side of the table. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, no. <laughs> no. He can dig in down in the cue ball to punch it. And punching he does. He's up 6 0. It's a one man show. Capito missing that 1 8 combination. I think he bought just 2 or 3 balls <sighs> in this match. Horrible for him. Yeah. And that feeling. Oh man. Wow. <laughs> the build up to the match, I mean it's only the finals today, so he has won the semi final yesterday. I cannot imagine having a good sleep if you're playing the world final the next day. Mm -hmm. And then the waiting, the waiting and then it starts and you're just in the chair. And you're trying to to do something, but you, uh, you're not able to do. On this previous break, uh, Sanjin made the one ball in the side pocket. Preferably, he would rather not make it and have that one ball travel towards the corner pocket what would your trick be Andre to have that one ball g go towards the long rail and not go in the side pocket mm. share a secret please to put a bit spin oh, well in this uh Variant of nine ball rack. I prefer to break hard. Yeah. To put one ball to the side and to keep the cue ball in the center of the table. Center, yeah. Because balls are randomly in the rack. Mm -hmm. So there is a chance that I will have a shot. Look, in this position, he can put everything except y the six. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's about uh, how many points you can take from uh, after the break. Yeah. So it's like seven out of uh, six out of seven. Ooh, that was poor. Now this is the first time he has lost position where he cannot. Well, any, a, anything is possible, where he will not come with a recovery shot. Hmm. He didn't take a lot of time to play this shot, um, but it worked out for him well. Yeah, good shot there. And a difficult escape for Capito because the 8 ball is blocking one route and the 7 is blocking the other route. But I think he can uh, make the angle narrow if you play hard. Yeah, from what? From the left side? From the left side. Yeah, he can play with draw but, but not hard. Yeah. Soft medium and have that cue ball well, go the other way. Oh, oh, three nine yeah. combination. Yeah, man, hundred percent. Ninety nine. Uh, Ninety nine point nine. I mean, hundred percent that he gonna play it. Oh, okay. And yeah. ninety nine percent he's gonna yeah. make it. He's he starts to play faster, but that's okay. His opening doesn't show anything. I think no one expected this score. No. <laughs> it's amazing. That's nine ball. That's the nature of the beast. One guy is full of confidence, started the match well, 
Capito made that one mistake on a five ball, mm -hmm. and ever since then Pelovanovic has not looked back. And more and more pressure on him now. On Capito? On Pelovanovic. Pelovanovic, why? Yeah. To, to make 9-0? To make the world title so fast, oh, uh, yeah. maybe he didn't expect this to yeah. have this big lead. But I don't think he's in trouble now. You think he's gonna win nine zero? Mm, let's see. It's hard to to expect. We'll and we have one more, at least one more break from Robbie. Yeah. Oh, mm. cue ball. Mm, no shot. Same, funny, the one and the eight are, as it on this previous break, are together. But I don't expect referee to put pat pattern rack. <laughs> no. He can bank the one to the side yeah, pocket. Yeah, I think he's gonna do it. And well, but he didn't think a lot about the cue ball because it was possibility to stop it by eight. But it was just to bank it. Your brain can start to act really funny if you're under the gun. Mm -hmm. But it was nice shot. Nice shot, great shot, yeah. We got seven zero lead or six zero. I thought it was seven. Yeah. Well, good for Capito. One, you never, you know, you never know. Yeah. I and think if he will, yeah. Oh well, and at least you know yeah. he's he's showing us, he's showing the people that he's a player. Good strokes. Well, if he'll take three or four eggs in a row, it will put a lot a lot of pressure on Pedro Anish. Never say never. And sometimes say sometimes. <laughs> mm, perfect. No, I thought it's gonna be perfect, but it's okay. Yeah, great shot on the two. He yeah. creamed that ball in. Wreck number one for Capito, 7-1. No whitewash in the no whitewash. in this match. But Pilivano just to need take uh, just to need to take two two his breaks out of Yeah out of five. But still that's a very dangerous mindset. I just need to Well he it's have it's like a doubles yeah. play. If you tell your partner just make the ball oh. that is the worst thing <laughs> yeah, you can tell thing. him. But still two out of five. Sure. Uh, yeah. He can think, okay I have uh, I need to take two out of five chances. Yeah. It's not that hard. It's forty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes when I, well, I don't, you know, before when I played more and I give people a spot when we're sparring a little bit or making a two-man tournament, if you give people a big spot, they start to think like that. They start to think, okay, if he gives me, I just need to make, and, and they put themselves in a the trap. Mm -hmm. The only thing he need to, uh, the only thing uh, to he need to think about is the position. Exactly, yeah. Just stay in the moment and play the shot. The shot he has in front of him. In previous rec Rex he was so disciplined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ping pong pong, balls flying in. No shape on the two ball. Mm. Well, maybe it's tight to pass the three, tight to pass the seven. I don't see him taking on the shot. It's too tight to go past the seven. Maybe. 
maybe he can bank it. <laughs> bank it. Or angle is too big. Well, if the seven weren't there, he could bank it easily. If I'll Five. see it, fr uh, if we'll see it from the top. Um, well he can bank this, yeah. Yeah, with the draw, just to make it. Wow! <laughs> oh <laughs> man, what a shot! <laughs> wow, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, he took a he took a risk. This this shot he could e easily have missed. Yeah, or but have unlock with the five. But what I have learned after my playing days, you know, it's better to play overconfident than overcautious. Mm -hmm. And he's, you know, there was a very confident shot selection. Mm -hmm. It's like a shot for for a match. Yeah. When you have a when you're on the hill. And your opponent have only one point. It's much easier to finish the match. Yeah. Because these two wrecks, when you need to win two wrecks, it's easier for opponent because he he know that he he can make a mistake, mm -hmm. at least one mistake. Yeah. But when you're on the hill, you just you know just take your chance. And when you're on the hill, go for the kill. Yeah. And he's playing like a mercenary. Milovanovic, three more balls, 8-1 in the making, and he'll be on the hill. I really like the way he's playing. Ball. It's, it's the same like he, he started. Yeah. He didn't chi change anything. Yeah, same rhythm. That's a trick to play to your own rhythm. Yeah, and it's so big for the 16 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very mature, you mean. Yeah. Nice. sitting here in the studio doing commentary I would like to see maybe we can get a hold of Banana his father I don't know his first name but Mr. Pelivanovic yep. father manager coach if he's gonna scream or say something when Pelivanovic sinks the money ball the winning ball if he gets that title because Pelivanovic senior I can never catch him in the screaming or yelling or saying come on always very quiet a race to nine for the world title Sanjin Pelivanovic needs one wreck and then he can call himself the world champion for a year. Capito to break. Mm. Everything goes wrong for him this match. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when this is over, he's gonna be reflecting about that five ball missed in rec two. Yeah. What if? Maybe he's still reflecting. Yeah. Oh, and there is Pelivanovic senior looking very intense. Hey, he's not. He didn't play the bank. Yeah, I was expecting bank also. Yeah, sure. Maybe he can try to go for a one nine combo. It will be so stupid, but he can try. <laughs> well. I don't know if that's a shot, but what what else can he play here? If if he can play the one into the five, and the cue ball will go to the long rail, there would be safe. a yeah off of the five towards the three, the one ball, and then hide behind the seven nine. Oh, he played the combo. Oh, why not? Why not play the combo? 
Yeah. <laughs> magic. It's pure magic. I feel like thi this guy knows better than us. Yeah. Well, he's in the zone. Yeah. It, uh, this game is under his control for sure. Well, at the moment, you know, he controls everything that's happening. Maybe just to roll it to the po um, corner pocket and to leave the cue ball on the same s side. Same side, yeah, don't spin it back. Go back and forth. Yeah. And then... Tr trace of left spin. Maybe without the left spin, just to just to put it. Just to make sure that he, uh, he makes it. He doesn't need an angle on the six. Would be nice to have an angle, but he doesn't need it. Wrong angle or straight? Well, well, he can leave cue ball not far from six and play just roll the seven to corner and leave the eight ball. No, he, he make a different choice. Choice. So high right, two rails coming in towards the eight. Three more balls, and he's the world champion. Ooh, wow. no spin. Oh ho ho ho! Yeah, I'd prefer to play it stun and to leave the cue ball in the center of the table and have the natural angle. I, I, yeah, I, th I, I thought he could roll the ball with right spin to go to the to the long rail. Yeah, but it was no spin from him. It looked like he forgot to spin. This was yeah. probably his worst stroke of the whole match. Yeah. A little bit edgy. Yeah. Now cut the ball in. Sometimes these shots can change the game at all. Yeah. At, th in, at this point. Yeah. Because all, all the adrenaline in Star his blood now. Starts to pump. Yeah. In between the nine and the side pocket. Using the full oh pocket. Yes. Yeah, this is the money ball. Game set and match for the world title. The last nine for Sanjin Pelovanovic. WPA World Pupils Champion for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah. Yes! Get the champagne out, get the party started here yeah. and in Bosnia. Amazing performance by Sanjin Pelovanovic, 9-1. What a super match, and there yeah. is Senior Pelovanovic. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful match. Yeah. Unbelievably well. <laughs> so nice. All the work. All the work pays off. A nine win victory for Pelovanovic. Amazing, super performance. I hope this is like um, the next two finals are going to be like this. Yeah. This Maybe more of a fight. Maybe more of a fight. Yeah, but the quality, we hope the quality is going to be the same. Yeah. Listen, pal, Andre, good luck in your final. You're yeah. going to be refereeing the world final between the, the, the ladies. You're trying to put me on pressure? No, no, <laughs> you're good. You're good. And uh, I'll be doing commentary in the juniors final at the end of the day. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Bro.